Hey guys, welcome back to Hopeless Hallow. Today we're going to be going over the various preferences on your character sheet, and more importantly, how to get rid of these pesky upcastings on our spell sheet. Especially for wizards, this can get real annoying. Alright, so let's get started. First, you're going to want to click Manage next to your character's name. Then, you're going to want to cl uh, click Character Settings. If you scroll down to the bo uh, near the bottom, you'll, sh you'll see a lot of things. To get rid of the main reason why you're probably here, you click here, Show Level Scaled Spells. Doing so will fix your spell sheet. And now you'll only see, uh, see spells at the various levels that they originate from. If you want to upcast them later, you can just click on the spell and click here to upcast. Ain't that crazy. All right, but now if we go back to character settings, uh, and now that I've lost half my viewers, which is about two, um, uh, let's look. O uh, let's look over some other ones. All right, under dark mode, dark mode. I'm sure l people love this. People love dark mode. I'm personally a light mode fan myself, but I'm gonna keep it on dark mode for now. Maybe I'll keep more viewers this way. Um, dice rolling. You ever, uh, you ever just click on this and like, ugh, it rolled a die. I didn't want it to roll it. Well, bada boom, bada bam. You can't roll dice there anymore. Ain't that cool? Um, some people like that actually because they don't misclick because they don't have fat fingers like the rest of us. Uh, so they'll keep it on, and I'll keep it on for now too. Optional features. Uh, these only matter if you have the books that go with them. But here they are. Advancement type: milestone or XP. If your DM is a uh, big bad person or have a really cool way of doing it or just some other method that uses XP there you go you just click XP and you accept if you're doing milestone you stick milestone hit point type uh, you either do fixed or manual this is how you roll for your hit points if you click manual that's how you do it if you click fixed it'll auto calculate your HP for you you use prerequisites, feats, and multi-class requirements. You'll usually never touch this stuff. Uh, we just did that one. Encumbrance type. It, uh, so, uh, this is for how much stuff you can carry. Uh, if you can't carry the stuff you're holding, uh, well, a lot of stuff, bad stuff happens to you unless you drop some stuff. So, this is the various encumbrance rules. There's encumbrance, the normal one. No encumbrance where you just carry whatever you feel like. Uh, and there's variant. Uh, a brutal system. If your DM says they're using variant encumbrance, uh, good luck. Alright, next one up is ignore coin weight. Coins actually weigh stuff in huge amounts. Uh, but if your DM says, hey, that really shouldn't hold you back, you click this and then boom. You're a few pounds lighter. Alright, and... If you don't like that uh, these this plus four is the bigger number, you want to see your actual bigger number to be bigger, you just put scores top. And wow, your big number is actually bigger. Incredible. The main problem with that, though, is uh, if you click on it, it's still going to give you a plus four, which it should be, of course. But <sighs> the clickable thing should be down here now, not up there. Anyways, if we clear these, we can finally see the last one. Character privacy. If you just want to hide your character, you just click private. And those are your character settings, preferences, whatever you want to call them. They're called preferences up here, but when you click it, it actually says character settings. So, either or, whatever you like to call it. Anyways, that's all I have to say today. Goodbye!